Hi, Paul here from Photo Genius. Welcome to my channel. Now in this video, I wanna talk about my favorite photography related gear of 2019. Some of these items helped improve the quality of my videos here on YouTube. Some of them helped me be a more creative photographer. And some of the items we're gonna look at simply helped me be more efficient at what I do. Okay, so let's not waste any time. Let's start with item number one, which is the Nikon Z6. Now, why exactly did I buy the Nikon Z6? Well, mostly it's because I do this for a living. I teach photography full time. I run photography courses and workshops here in Brisbane, plus of course the YouTube channel helping you guys take better photos with your cameras. And I do like to keep up with advances in camera technology. Plus in 2020, I wanna try and make more time to take photos myself. Now, I've been teaching photography for over 10 years. I do invest a lot of time showing others how to take photos, which means sometimes I don't have much time left for me to actually take photos. Now I'm not complaining, I love what I do, I'm very passionate about it, but definitely in the new year, you're gonna see more photos from me, some of them taken with the Z6, and for that reason, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Now when deciding what mirrorless camera to buy, I did also consider the Nikon Z7, but really I didn't need the extra resolution. I couldn't justify the extra cost, so I did end up going for the Z6, which is actually my first full frame camera. Now that might be a surprise to you, but look, I've never needed or really desired a full frame camera up until now, but now I think it's time. And what's great is I've already got some existing Nikon lenses and using the FTZ adapter, I can use use the existing Nikon lenses that I've got on this mirrorless camera body. So I'm really looking forward to using this camera in the new year. I've been very impressed with the image quality so far. I love the handling, the feel, the layout of the buttons, and the electronic viewfinder is really a joy to use. So as I say, lots of photos coming from me and the Z6 in the future, so make sure you follow me on Instagram. The next bit of photography technology I've been using a lot this year is the Rode Wireless Go microphone system. Now, when I set up my YouTube channel, it became very clear that I needed three really important things. A camera to record my videos with, and my decision was to go with the uh, Canon 80D. I'm using it still now, three years on. It's a great camera, and I went for that one because it has great video functions, plus at the time, pretty much every big YouTuber was using the Canon 80D. I needed a light source, so I bought an LED panel, I'm using it now. And of course I needed a microphone to improve the audio quality. And initially I went for this, the Rode VideoMic Pro, which is a great microphone, and I still use this a lot when I'm out or on location. But this year um, I jumped up to a wireless system. So the Rode Wireless Go is fantastic because I've got a lavalier mic attached to my t-shirt, cable running down to a transmitter, which is sitting inside my pocket here. And on the top of the camera, I've got the receiver plugged into the camera. This is great because the um, it gives me the ability to walk about and move and it doesn't affect the audio quality. Whereas with the VideoMic Pro, you need to stand directly in front of it. And if you move off to the side, it can affect the audio quality. So I don't know if you guys noticed that over the last year in 2019, the audio quality of my videos improved and that's all down to the Rode Wireless Go. Great system. The next bit of gear I wanna mention is this. This is the Insta 360 One X. This is the camera that I had the most fun using in 2019 by a mile. This tiny little camera can record 360 degree video or 360 degree images if you wanna do still photos and is amazing and so much fun. I've been using it for a few months now. I took it with me around Europe and I've done a separate review video all about it. So if you wanna see some more footage and stills taken with this camera and you wanna find out more, Check out the video, I'll put a link up here. But this is definitely the camera that I had the most fun using in 2019. Now next up is this, my latest camera bag. I've had this for a few months now. This is the Think Tank Retrospective 5. Now I'm usually carting my gear around in a big Think Tank backpack, but sometimes I want an option of just traveling a bit lighter. I don't need to carry lots of gear. And that is why I purchased this. I wasn't sent it, it's not a freebie, I brought it myself. It's a great bag. It will easily accommodate a smaller SLR or mirrorless camera. I've been using it with a Z6 and like all 
think tank bags. It's really well made, really nice thick material, plenty of padding so your gear is safe, plenty of pockets for accessories. It's got a rain cover that comes with it. And it just, as I say, ticks all the boxes. So this is a really good bag. And if you want to find out more, I'll put a link in the description below this video. Now, another item I've used extensively over the last 12 months has been this, the Satechi USB hub adapter and card reader. Very, very useful, particularly for me. I'm a Mac user, so on my uh, laptop of choice here is the MacBook Pro. This has USB-C, also known as Thunderbolt uh, inputs, which can be a problem because when you're connecting devices, most devices use USB, which is much more standard. Now with this, not a problem. I can connect this to my laptop and then connect up to three USB devices. I can use it as a card reader and pop an SD card in. And I can also um, use this to output 4K HDMI to a separate monitor. And I can also power it through the uh, USB-C uh, port as well. So very, very useful, particularly for your Mac user, the Satoshi uh, Power Hub adapter. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check it out. Okay, let's now talk about filters. Now, a few months ago, I was very lucky to be approached by a company called Polar Pro, who make filters. They sent me a ND filter, they sent me a circular polarizing filter, and I've been testing these out over the holidays. Now, there is a full review video coming very soon, and in that video, I'm gonna, of course, tell you what I think about these. I'm also gonna show you how to use them and get the most from them, so look out for that one. But until the review comes, all I can tell you that so far, I've been very impressed with these. I've really enjoyed using them. So if you can't wait and you want to find out more about Polar Pro, I'll put a link in the description below the video. Now, if you love macro photography, but you don't have the budget for a macro lens, then this next one is for you. In 2019, I've been using these quite a lot. These are the Kenko macro extension tubes. This particular set is for Canon. Now, the year before, I bought a set for Nikon and I used them quite a bit. But in 2019, I ran a few macro courses here in Brisbane and I get a lot of people with Canon cameras wanting to join in the fun. So I picked up another set and these have had quite a lot of use throughout the year, both by the participants in the course and myself as well. This is a great way of doing macro photography on a budget. Now I'm going to be doing a brand new macro video very soon, so make sure you look out for that one and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on future videos. Do you love macro photography? Let me know in the comments below. The next item I want to talk about is not the most exciting of the bunch, but it is definitely worth a mention. This is an SSD drive, and this has made my life a bit easier this year. It's made my workflow quicker. It's made my workflow more efficient. So I definitely want to recommend it to you. If you're taking lots of photos, and more so if you're recording lots of video with your cameras, you're going to find that storage can be a real issue. So chances are you might have brought an external hard drive like this but I recommend checking out these SSD drives, a solid state drives, they use flash memory just like an SD card. There is no moving parts with these, so they travel well as well. They are very small, very compact, very lightweight, and they are super, super quick. So you will get files on or off these much quicker than you will with a standard drive. These are much more reliable as well. So there's lots of reasons why I would recommend an SSD drive. I love this so much, I've ended up buying a few. Now I'd love to know what your favorite bit of gear was in 2019. So leave your comments down below. Did you pick up a new camera? Maybe a tripod or a new lens, or maybe you're thinking about buying something new in 2020. For more information on any of the gear featured in this video, check out the links below the video. And of course, if you enjoyed, please give us a thumbs up, consider subscribing to my channel, and I hope to see you again sometime soon. See ya.